Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mehdi from TD Redbox channel and today I'm going to talk about the ID color map inside Substance Painter. So we are going to figure out how to generate color ID map with different methods and technique inside Substance Painter and increase our masking process inside Substance Painter. Stay with me to learn color ID map inside Substance Painter. Before that, let me introduce you the brand new course that we release for Substance Painter and after that we jump into video and learn about Color ID Map. Learning Substance Painter is easier than ever. Hey all Substance lovers, texture seekers and awesome future artists. Welcome to ultimate course for learning Substance Painter from zero to hero. Ready to learn how to texture with different projects? Substance Master released a brand new course for those who want to learn to texture with Substance Painter. In this course, we cover from preparing the model to rendering different projects, different challenges. If you want to level up your skill in texturing, come and check the Substance Master Ultimate course for learning Substance Painter. Okay, so for creating color ID map inside Substance Painter, we need to modify the 3D model and I'm going to use Blender here for this purpose. The first technique that we can use is separating the model. It means you have single model with different or separate meshes. So for do this inside Blender, you can go to the edit mode. Okay, for example, press Ctrl L here press P and separate selection. After that, we export this model as a FXY and bake it inside Substance Painter as a low poly model. Okay, now it's time to jump into Substance Painter and load the separate mesh version of Leather Armor. So, press OK here. And let's wait. Now we have this model. We have just one texture set here. Go to the Bake menu. Okay, I don't want anything here except ID. That's great. And let's turn off the baking visualization and go to the ID mesh maps channel and in here we have two different settings the color source and color generator for the color source we define the technique that we are going to use here so in here we are going to use mesh ID or polygroup so for separate mesh we need to use mesh ID Okay, now for color generator, we should use hue shift mode. You can use random or grayscale, it depends on you and your preferences, but it's better to use hue shift because when you use hue shift, you have a strong color on each ID. Okay, so you can use the mask very easy. But for example, you can use grayscale too, it gives you a grayscale mask. It's okay, but sometimes it's hard to select each ID when you have a complex model. So it's better to have hue shift, press bake, and tada, you have the color ID. And how we can use the color ID? You can go to the painting mode. Okay, load some, uh, I don't know, maybe the leather option here okay press m go to the material mode and i want to select the steel part here so i separated inside blender now i can go to the add mask with color selection okay and go here and press on pick color and just select the color that i need okay and it's not like, okay, you can just only use one single color here. You can go to the peak color again and use some color. That's it. Or you can change the color itself 
in here. So I need to go to the blue, for example, or green. Okay, and that's it. Or I can remove it from here. So this is the way that we can use color ID inside Substance Painter. Very easy and very fast create mask with ID maps. Okay, so let's go and explore the other technique that we can use for generating color ID map inside Substance Painter. Okay, for the second scenario or for the second technique, I couldn't use the separate mesh technique. So I need just single model. But in the other hand, I need color ID for the texturing process. So how we can generate the color ID map inside Substance Painter? It's so easy. You just need to give different material with the different color, the color that you need on the color ID map, exactly. And after that, you can bake it, the data from the high poly model to the low poly model and use the ID color. And as you can guess, we can just only use the color material mode or technique just only on high poly bake to low poly method. Okay, so it's not like we can export the material color with our low poly model and bake the color ID map. Okay, so this is the thing that we need to know here. So we have this model here as a low poly. Okay, so let's create a copy. Okay, and I'm going to change the name, the color material. Okay, let's go to the editing mode. And in here, for example, I create a new material, okay, with red, for example. And now, when I bake this to the main low poly that we have, this area should be red on a color ID map. So, let me pause the video and give the material all around the model and test it in Substance Painter. Okay, now, as you can see, I have a model with six different color on the surfaces. And now let's go to the Substance Painter and see what is the result when I bake this model to the low poly that originally we have. Okay, now we are in Substance Painter. We have one texture set. Let's go to the bake mode. And in here, I need to define the high poly model that I create. So this is the color material. So let's open it. And now we have the high poly model. Okay, let's decrease the max frontal distance. And let's go to the ID material. And in here, I'm going to use material color. And when you use material color, the color generator is off because we define the color that we want inside the blender. So let's go and bake it. Okay, let's turn it off, go to the ID color, and boom, we have this one. So we have the purple here, blue here, and the yellow here, the red one is here, exactly the same inside the blender. And let's go to the paint mode and use two different smart material, go to the material mode, and here, Go to Add Mask with Color Selection. And now I can use the Color ID very easy and very fast. Let's go for the third one, which is very important and useful. Okay, for the third one, let's use Vertex Color. For creating Vertex Color inside Blender or any other software, you can use different technique and method. But here in the Blender, I use text tool and color ID menu for creating vertex color section. So it's so easy, it's so fast, and you can download the text tool from the link in the description. And for install this add-on inside Blender, you can go to the Edit Preferences. In the Add-ons section, you can click on Install and select Text Tool Blender Master Zip and Install Add-ons. And now you have the UV text tool add-ons here, and you can activate it with this checkbox. 
Okay, so this is the way that we install Text Tool, and now let's use it. But be aware, for using the vertex color for generating color ID maps, you need to apply the vertex color on the low poly model. So let's use it. For this technique, we need to open the color ID menu here in the text tool on the UV editor section. Okay, and we should change the mode to vertex color. Okay, and after that, we're ready to go. So you can select any amount of the color that you want in here. For example, I need eight, I need six, it's okay. And you can change the color that you need in here. So just click on it and change the color. So how we can apply this color on the model. So let's select the model, go to the edit mode and just select all item and assign the color here. So as you can see, we have the red color on the model and it's not on the material, it's on the vertex color. So vertex color, it's like information on the vertex that we can use inside Substance Painter. So let's select this one and apply the blue color here. And as you can see, we have the blue color on the model. So let's pause the video and complete the color selection here. And after that, we're going to test it inside Substance Painter. Okay, assigning vertex color is done. And now it's time to export it and test it in Substance Painter. So let's do that. Okay, let's use the Leather Armor Vertex Color version and press OK. Okay, now we have one texture set. Go to the Bake Mesh menu. And in here, let's turn off the baking visualization, change the viewport to ID. And in the color source, I'm going to use vertex color. And let's turn off all the mesh maps items here and just select ID and press bake. And now, as you can see, I have the color ID with the color that we assigned to vertex color inside Blender. So this is the way that we can generate ID maps inside Substance Painter in different mode. If you like this video and find it useful for yourself, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and share your mind in the comment section. Be creative. Bye.